Hi Libra, welcome to your February um, love reading. I went ahead and pulled your base cards just so I could uh, slightly meditate on what's going on with you guys. Um, yeah, let's just get into it. Overall um, energy and influence, I got the Queen of Pentacles. And this is just feeling grounded um, in your situation. You just feel... You've got everything that you need. Uh, if you if this is if you're already in a relationship and you're coupled up, you just feel stability. You feel that everything is okay, status quo. If you're single, you feel like okay, I got all my shit together. I got my job, my career, my apartment, my house, my whatever. Now I just need um, somebody to be my partner so I could settle down with. The beginning of the month, you got the sun. You are quite happy right now. In the beginning of February, your energies are telling me that you are just like a little kid. You're not worried about tomorrow. You're you're not worried about shit right now. Like a little kid who didn't did, did a little kid worry about rent <laughs> or paying the mortgage or paying the bills? No, they went out on their little bike and had fun. That's how you feel right now. Uh, Knight of Swords. Okay, a few things here for the Knight of Swords. One, you could be receiving messages uh, regarding um, situations in your relationship. Um, if you are single, you could be text messaging somebody back and forth uh, and you're receiving messages. Um, this also talks about in a love relationship that you share the similar, similar qualities as your partner. On the flip side, I do have to say the shadow side. On the shadow side, be careful, Libra. You're not absorbing energies that are not yours or characteristics that are not yours like for example he loves motorcycles and you love to ski he she vice versa the energies you can't be like oh i love motorcycles yeah let's just talk, let's just totally go get a motorcycle tomorrow you know up ski me no don't do that libra you know, you, you, it's cool to be an individual and be yourself. You already share similar similar characteristics, but also expose the ones that make you different because you are so cool. You are so special. It's why people were attracted to you in the first place. The devil. <clears throat> be careful you're not obsessed. If you're with somebody um and you just recently met them be careful you're not obsessing over the relationship or you're obsessing over the situation and or the person vice versa if this person is more obsessed with you than the other way around if you're single stop having meaning meaningless sex because that's what that means or putting yourself in toxic situations toxic relationships we're going to clarify so i'm going to see why this is here because ten of cups is at the bottom of the month you know family wise you're quite happy or you think that this person can complete your family if you're dating somebody. Um, if you're single, you're really happy right now and you just want to add somebody to your family, which is why you had the overall influence of the Queen of Pentacles. Now, if you are dating somebody and you are in a relationship, Temperance is stepping in to balance that relationship out. So if you're having any difficulties, any problems, any issues, or anything that needs to be confronted, Archangel's here to... Archangel Michael's here to balance it out. If you're single, oh yeah, he's putting somebody on your path. They're coming. Three of Pentacles in your final outcome at the end of the month of February. Now this could also mean whatever's happening now are energies that are going to ebb and flow right into March. So keep aware of this. This could be third party situation. This could mean that you need to work on your relationship. Your your relationship has issues, meaning there's... um stagnation somebody's bored um somebody uh just doesn't feel um chemistry or fire and you need to work at your relationship if you're single um it just means that you need to use a third party situation to find your person so um blind dates getting hooked up by your friends um match.com whatever you want to use whatever site works for you um zisk or whatever i don't know tinder <laughs> I don't think Tinder, but you get the point. Um, use third parties to help you out. Network, go out, have fun. But you need to work at it because Pentacles is work and it's money and it's also uh, something that's solid. So that's saying you definitely have to work at it. Now, 
let's go in and clarify all these bad boys. Why is the sun here? Please clarify the sun for my dear Libras. Sun, where's the sun here? Thank you. Actually, High Priestess is upright and Magician is down. So, this could be this could be a Pisces also in your life. Just throwing it out there. I don't know. Pisces with the sun card. It's saying you need to use your intuition with the magician. Be careful you're not being manipulated. Now, interestingly enough, on the opposite side of the horoscope spectrum is the Aries for you Libras. The thing about Libras is they are, I mean Aries, I'm sorry. I'm still talking about Libra, but now I'm talking about the Aries. On the Zodiac wheel, your complete opposite is the Aries. The Aries tend to be this way. They're the little kids of the Zodiac. They run into things without thinking. They just go and they don't realize. They're like, they're also like the fool. They just jump and then worry later. The Libras are the complete opposite of that. You're very cerebral. You think things through. You don't, you know, start blurting things out of your mouth without thinking about it. So this is what this is saying to me. Right now you're enjoying this moment in time, but you're also being... Um, intuitive you're using your intuition that you know this state of mind can't always be you're constantly thinking that there's somebody in the mix that's trying to manipulate you because the magician's in reverse so you may also be dealing with an aries that you feel that might be manipulating you or you have a pisces in the mix either way now don't don't forget these two are clarifiers and you're clarifying the sun Overall, this is the energy you have right now. You're feeling good. You're feeling great. You know, you're using your intuition regarding the situation, but you're also aware of people who might be manipulating the situation. Very nice, Libra. Knight of Swords. Why is Knight of Swords here? Please clarify Knight of Swords. Hmm. The Two of Swords. You are having a tough time making a choice regarding some message that you recently received or how you're going to counteract the relationship that you're in. Um, if you're single and you're dating, you're, re you're receiving messages from information, but you don't know what you should do. If you should um, go for it or not, or you just don't know what to make of it. You, you almost feel like, well, is he interested or is he not interested? You know, so you're, you're sort of blindfolded in making a choice of if you should move forward or not. Sometimes the twos, you know, the twos are choices and decisions, like choosing between two things also. So maybe there's two, two people that you're, you know, you're talking to and you don't know which one to uh, go after. All very probable. Also, why you have this here. You're constantly thinking, like, who's going to manipulate you, who's not. And why you're constantly, you know, using your intuition to keep your happiness, which is the sun. Why is the devil here? Let's clarify the devil. Ooh. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. You're definitely receiving some sort of offer. But coupled with the devil, if you're single, you're very attractive to everybody. And everybody wants a piece of you. It's just because Libras know how to talk. You know how to keep the peace. You know how to make the other, the other person feel sexy as hell. And by the fact that you know how to do that, by being attentive, by listening, they're automatically interested in you and they're attracted to you. So you get insta offers never met a libra that was single for long really i haven't not any of them they're they're, they're just like magically gifted and there's a, a buttload of libras in my life and i love them to death like my dad my daughter everyone i know my friends they're, they're just magically gifted and knowing exactly how the other person feels and helping soothe that individual. So you are constantly being offered. Just be careful. It's not being offered by a toxic individual. Or if you're single, you're you're getting into meaningless uh, relationships or having meaningless sex. 
You know, if you're going to get an offer, make sure it is solid. But you are getting solid offers. You're just not getting them, you know, from the right place. But Archangel Michael is here. So let's see. Because right after you have the Ten of Cups. There's Ten of Cups here, please clarify Ten of Cups. Queen of Cups. I can see it from here. It's on the floor. Hold on, guys. Yeah, you have the Queen of Cups here, which is the overall influence that I was telling you before. This could also be someone in your life. Uh, for me, usually this is the mother, the mother of the family. Um, but it's coupled with this. So uh, this is why I'm saying mom, because this is the family card. And for me, the Queen of Pentacles is the mother is somebody who's grounded. She's also, she could be an earth sign female that's in your life. Could be an older sister, could be a mentor, could be any of those energies. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And they're very significant in your family. Very significant. They're the grounding force in your family. So maybe you are going to them to um, get advice or talk to, or, you know, the, the other counterpart relationship person has to pass muster with, you know, this individual in your family home. Okay. Temperance. Why is temperance? Well, Jesus. Four of Pentacles. So interestingly enough, you're holding back or somebody's holding back. It could be the other person. could be you. The star card, which is an Aquarius. And the Seven of Pentacles, planting the seeds regarding the relationship. So this could be you. This could be you planting the seeds of foundation for a relationship that either you you recently had started, or even if you've been dating somebody for a year or two, you've planted the seeds, so now you're waiting for the harvest, like the next step, the next level. If you're single, same thing. You're, you're going to... Um, start planting the seeds you know th this is the card of hope uh stardom um looking fabulous like somebody's got their eye on you you know but this is just also telling me you know what i think you're putting it out to the universe if you're single i, I want to plant my 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 seeds and my harvest for somebody to come in because don't forget these are cards that are clarifying temperance so archangel michael's going to come in and help you the only issue i have here is don't hold back because you are holding back. You're holding back your vulnerability, who you are, your feelings, and um, anything that you feel that you don't need to reveal. You're, you're basically holding the cards close to your chest. You're not letting everybody know. You know, and, and maybe for good reason. Maybe you want to see what's going to happen before you start exposing your feelings or, you know, um, your situation. The same thing if you're single. Maybe, you know, in the beginning you're just quiet while you're dating people you want to get to the know them first before they get to know you you're you're just playing the cards very close to your chest but you know temperance is here it's stepping in they're definitely trying to either fix this relationship that you're currently in or if you're single they're bringing you somebody that's for sure or if there's an argument or a fight they're trying to fix it let's say three of pentacles why is three of pentacles here so again libra uh, if you're in a relationship, I I feel as if, let's see, yeah, you're either living status quo, and if you're single, somebody's coming. That's the overall energy I'm getting. But finally, at the end of the month, Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, somebody's bringing you messages of love, something you want to hear, something that makes you happy, an offer of love, um, everything of the like. And it could be via third-party person. Same thing if you're single. Through a third person, they're like, hey, yo, so-and-so likes you, and they want to hook up. Or, you know, one of the dating apps or sites is, you know, you're, you're getting responses, things that you want to hear. If you're in a relationship, you're working towards that relationship, and you're hearing the things that you want to hear. You're both exchanging messages of love, you know, things that are reinforcing your relationship and to, you know, to bring you guys to the next level. Now, I just want to pull one additional card for Valentine's Day. What can my Libras expect on V-Day? V-Day on the 14th. It could happen the day before, the day of, or the day after. Judgment. Okay. So on 
Valentine's Day, you have judgment. And I don't know if you are assessing the relationship. If you are, they are. Um, one of you is making also a judgment call. So they are making a judgment call regarding this relationship. Please clarify judgment for us. Why is judgment here? Please flip that or I take the top card. Thank you. Queen of Wands, but it was in the reverse. So if there was some, if you were in a relationship, I'm sorry, if, if, if you're in the relationship and there was a third party situation and they no longer are in the, the case or in the situation or whatever, there is a fire sign female that's in the mix, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, but she's a bitch because it's in the reverse. So she doesn't have her shit together. She's like a hot mess. She doesn't have her finances together. She doesn't have anything together. She's just like trying to figure her life out. So maybe your uh, spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend are still helping her out. She could be a sister. She could be a, um, a family member. She could be a bestie, a friend. She could be the ex-girlfriend. Anyway, she's somehow within the mix of the situation, whether she was the third party and she no longer is, or she still is, where she's a thorn in your side. There needs to be a judgment call made upon this female, and you're going to be discussing this and her on or near Valentine's Day. And mainly because those of you that are in a relationship, you already have your foundation. So maybe you're just dealing with like the minor hiccups of your, your lives. Now, if you're single, you're dealing with this girl. She's like this hot mess that just is like, she could be your home girl, but she's just like a mess. And maybe she's messing up your situation. You know, maybe when you guys go out and you know you're meeting people she's i hate to use this word but cock blocking you but you get it she's she just like messes your situation up you need to make a judgment call regarding this person yeah what they are to you in your life what they mean to you maybe you're you're hanging out with this person on valentine's day i don't know but this is the overall energy i'm getting on that day one last final card, Oracle card from the Romance Angels, um, Archangel Michael Samuel Raphael. Please give us a message for Libras. Thank you. Reconciliation, yeah. So if you guys recently had um, broke up and then got back together again, and then th this person was the reason, because you do have the Three of Pentacles on the table. So that does talk about working your relationship out. And then you have Archangel Michael Temperance stepping in to balance that relationship. This is why you have reconciliation. Um, if you're single, maybe you want to reconsider somebody that you were dating and you broke up that, you know, you might have a reconciliation. You might get back with your ex. Don't know. I'm going to shuffle one more time. If nothing pops out, nothing pops out. If it does, it does. Universe, angel, spirit guides for Team Libra. Any other messages for my Libra, please pop out. If not, okay. any other messages for my Libras? No, that's it. Those are the messages, guys. Please come back in uh, March so we can see how this plays out. Until then, Libra.